Well, you've got two gorgeous cars, you've got a gorgeous house, you've got gorgeous clothes, I'm sure. Um, well, that's all I've dreamt of, you know, having a nice time, that, you know. But, you see, I get the impression from what I read about you that, in a way, you're not enjoying it, that, that you're a bit lonely. Well, I am, yeah, but... I've got to put that on the side. I've got the money. I can go out and buy what I want, and that's it. Who's bothered about anybody else? Not. What about friends? Have you got any friends? Well, I have one or two, but um, I talk to and go about with, and that's how we leave it. We don't make a habit of, you know, being friends. You know what I mean? Real friends, staying in and going off everywhere and doing everything together. Would you say that your win has brought you happiness? Money creates problems, you know, as well as it creates everything else. And mm. um, you've got to live with um, you've got to live with everybody else. I have. I've got to please everybody else. Got to dress different for everybody else. Why? Uh, Why? I don't know. I, I went over to Sheffield the other week, and uh, his mother had an argument with somebody because I'm always in jeans when I go over there. If I had her bloody money, I wouldn't dress like that. Well, they're only talking. When they, if they had the money, what would they do? When I, before we won this money, I used to talk about what I'd do with it. I'd give this to that and give that to that. And then we won it. We actually won it. We never thought we would. I thought, bugger them, what's up with us? And that's it. That's the way you look at it. What's the best thing about it now you have got it? Well, you can buy anything you want, can't you? You don't have to uh, save up for it. You don't have to go take your family allowance book down to your mother's and borrow off it, do you? It's true, it's silly, but it's true. Viv Nicholson still has money worries. Um, Though today, unhappily, her problem is not too much, but too little. Her husband, Keith, killed in his Jaguar, left her only 5,000 oh, pounds. Yes, no. yeah, They'd spent 60,000 in five years. So she must sell this ranch house and get a job. For today, her income's much as it was before the dream began.